This video covers 11 hidden gems in TerraSculptor that many of you may not be aware of. If you encounter a rare blank viewport occurrence where the scene objects and terrain don't redraw, press the tilde key or F8 key to refresh the viewport. Note that the tilde key only works if the viewport currently has the focus and is showing the yellow selection border. You can also choose the redraw viewport item on the view menu. If you just want to create a new terrain without creating a complete new project, choose the new terrain item on the file menu. This item won't reset the current project settings to defaults and show the grid and other project changes that have been made. The home grid in TerraSculptor will be utilized more in the future for mesh object placement and other features. To automatically resize the home grid to the terrain or to the world, choose the resize buttons on the home grid toolbar. You can also disable the showing of the home grid by default in the settings dialogs grid and snap tab. On the generators and modifiers that are using the 3D preview viewport, pressing F1 will pop up an overlay with accelerator help. Every noise map generator has a random button on the toolbar, which looks like a dice. Click on the random button to randomize all of the noise map parameters to generate unique landscapes. Every noise map generator has a pair of hold and swap buttons. Each noise map generator maintains two copies of the parameter values that can be cycled by pressing the swap button. If you would like to compare two similar sets of parameters, click on hold to hold the current parameters, adjust the parameters for a second noise map variation, then use the swap button to alternate between the variations to determine which you prefer. If you are working with any of the Unreal Engine development kits, go to the Settings Dialog's Dimensions tab and enable the UDK landscape to show UDK buttons on the new and resample dialogs that contain a list of all supported and optimal landscape sizes. Many of the spin controls have a specific number of digit decimal places, with the default being 5 decimal places. To change this value, go to the Settings Dialog's Preferences tab and change the accuracy decimal places to increase or decrease the number of digits.
The main viewport can display statistics such as the performance frames per second. This can be toggled on and off with the view menu's performance statistics item. To enable statistics all of the time, go to the settings dialog scene tab statistics options. Go to the Settings Dialog Shortcuts tab to view the keyboard shortcuts for the main editor dialog. On the Help menu, choose the Release Notes to display the text file of what is new for each released build.